Carson, here is your first video lesson here at the Academy. Uh, a lot of good things with a swing. Just take a look at the action here. What, what's really good is you get through the ball, a nice lower body movement. Lower body movement is like a uh, single digit player. So let's, let's break it down as we did during the lesson. You know, let's put you up next to another, another guy with a good swing. Um, you know, as, as we pointed out, you can probably add a little flex to your legs, to your knees, see how he's a little more over and he's a little more bent over it. Other than that, posture's pretty good. You get to here. The club's outside your hands, which is good, which what is bad is the uh, face angle. The point is straight down. So what you have to do is, with that face angle down, close club face, you're going to have to fight going across the line and too steep. You know, you're a little steep here, but you can get way, get away with it. But here's, here's the crux of the matter. This is, see how your elbow kind of sticks out? You know, it's actually, at this spot, it's, your forearm is parallel to the ground. Look at Scott's. His, his toe up with a club right there, and that puts him into this position. See how his right elbow is working under his, under his hands? So his is, his is vertical. Yours is out here. So your, your mission is to get your elbows as close together as possible. See, the distance between Adam's elbows is about what, nine inches. Yours is a foot and a half, something like this. Now, when you go back, and this is a very weak position, very weak position. You know, you push off at the lower body, which is good. This is one thing we should fix, too. You've got these in your notes, but that, that that toe going up, I'm mean, sorry, the heel going up and coming down, wasted motion, and it, you know, it causes some um, inconsistency. But your biggest thing is that elbow. And as you come down, see, it has to crawl in front of your body. It's still stuck behind you. Look at Scott's. See his elbow. His elbow never really gets behind him, it's still in front of him. See how it's working in front of his chest? So as he comes down in here, that's inside his body. Yours is out here. That's the whole, that's the whole issue with your swing. Because there's a, you've got to fight this thing. See, it's outside your hands. See that blur's outside your hands? Look at his. See, that club is can you see it? It's inside your inside his hands, inside the plane. And then he goes after it. You kind of fling at it, cutting across. This will be a pull, probably open club face. Yeah. That that's the main main issue. Let's look at the other direction. This one really accentuates some of the uh, the good lower body action that you have. It's really really good. What you need to do, and I'll whoops.
you and I can't get there, but we can get here. See the difference? What you need to do is just get in a mirror. I'll send you a hard copy of, of uh, Scott at the top and you at the top. As a matter of fact, I'll do that. that over to you. So, see these angles? These are huge. His upper body lean away is about 14 degrees. His lower body lean towards the target is about 8 degrees. you have like a negative four degrees here. So you're never really behind it. It's set up to be a kind of a lift and flip swing. You gotta get that left shoulder behind the ball. Get that right elbow down. But this this is the magical thing of your swing. This lower right body is straight up. His is eight degrees. So if you just pose in the mirror like Adam Scott and away you go now. But here's the good thing. This is this is really gonna work well for you once you get the uh, your backswing taken care of. See how that right knee comes away from that post? Excellent. Excellent. See how that left knee goes straight at impact? Excellent. That this is scratch action. The lower body is scratch action. Really good. interesting watch watch your, uh, your your left foot never gets the ground tail impact see it's still hanging then it comes down see that and that's because you're you're kind of coming in with this this hammer thing anyway that's that's the lesson